Hey, Ms. Baha here, and I wanted to do a very fresh review because it's kind of in my mind and I just experienced something with it. I'm a big fan of Descript, okay? I'm a very heavy user of the tool. I recommend it a lot to a lot of my clients and people I consult with because the learning curve is so much easier and beginner friendly for a lot of folks, right? One of the features that they make very attractive, aside from it being a video editing tool, is the fact that you can record directly into it. So if I want to record a podcast episode or I want to record video, right? I can share my screen. You know, it sounds great in theory, but here has been my personal experience because I've tried this multiple times now with Descript, with this feature, and I've moved away from it. They make updates very often and fix issues, not yearly, but like pretty often, which I like. Just recently, I'm like, all right, I recorded audio only episodes into Descript, right? So my microphone is plugged in, you hit record and you see the transcription kind of happening as you are talking, right? So it's a very awesome where you record directly into this tool as opposed to something like Riverside.fm, which is another software. Audio only for those solo episodes in Descript work perfectly. The second that I add video into the mix, so if I'm using, for example, my iPhone 12 mini, it's connected kind of as a webcam into my computer, or let's say sometimes I'm using my webcam and I'm trying to record direct video and audio from a special microphone into Descript, I have found that there's been lag or sync issues that to be honest, just weren't worth the customize. Like there just wasn't an accessible way to customize and get them back in sync, which was a little annoying. So I kind of had to re-record, you know, the video and audio. Of course, I was reminded the safest way to do it is independently on its own instead of just recording into something. But it's just an honest review. They're amazing. Descript is amazing as a video editing tool, podcast editing tool, all this good stuff, screen recording tool even. But I would say when it comes to actually recording directly into it, audio only is where I would feel safe doing it. And even then, I will say one of the things that deterred me from it the first time around, this was months ago, was I recorded into it and even after like or before editing and uh, upgrading the sound within it, it just sounded a little bit funky. And then after editing, and I was like, huh, this sounds like lower quality than it should and that it usually does when I record in something like Adobe Audition, right? So that made me a little bit annoyed and skeptical and I kind of left it alone for a bit. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're planning to do video and audio recording into one place, one software, Descript is probably not going to be the tool that you want to use for that because too much room for error right? The software that I would recommend is Riverside.fm or StreamYard. Some of my clients like that. I'm a fan of Riverside.fm. I haven't had too many issues with it. They make upgrades and stuff like that themselves as well. And I find that because you've got options to individual tracks afterwards, and there's also a synced version where it's synced together pretty well, you know, afterwards, recording audio only and audio plus video is the safest in Riverside.fm, especially when I compare it to Descript. I want Descript to be safer and a better option. It's faster, it's cooler, it's like, oh yeah, this should work. But in terms of realistic usability, at least at this moment in time, it's not quite there yet. For audio only, this time around, I will say, the improvement was I recorded audio just you know with my mic directly into Descript, and I recorded several episodes that way where the quality was beautiful. You hit playback and you're like, okay, this is exactly what I expected. So, you know, good to double check that, you know, there was no difference in my wiring or anything else than it was before, but that was an improvement I noticed. I would still recommend getting Descript because it helps and is so useful for so many other purposes that if it fits for you, it's worth it. But for the sake of recording audio and video episodes, you know, into some place, Riverside.fm would be the winner in my opinion. Check out the description below for more free tools and good stuff if you found this useful, but I appreciate you hanging out and I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, definitely drop them below, but thanks for spending the time and I will see you next time.